Hello, this is just a quick video, uh, really for myself in case I ever get on one of these cranes in the future and uh, forget, but this is a uh, Grove 600E. Uh, I just want to make a video on how to set up the LMI system uh, for it. So, you're going to turn the key. This also works like, again for the for the 700E, I know for a fact, and the other variants of this, anything with the Hirschman uh, system, this is going to work. So, go ahead and start the engine now that the uh, system is, 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 is warmed up and whatever, and booted up. And so I find that no matter what you do, uh, every day it's gonna start off on the wrong code. I'm, I'm, I'm running on the basic code 0001. Uh, it's just a pretty basic standard setup that I got going on here. <coughs> Nothing fancy, no half outriggers out, no, um, you know, no, uh, no, no chip attached to it. So you'll see that it's going to automatically put itself on the uh, 9005, which is for on rubber, basically, as you can see here with the tires being black. That, that indicates that that's the system that it's showing. So in order to fix this, like I said, uh, you're just going to press delete. Use this dial to rotate through. Press delete. I have got... Uh, is all this is still on is you got a jib out or no jib, so I got no jib. Um, I'm gonna be on outriggers, yellow. Now, you'll notice there's no yellow indication on that last outrigger. The system is automatically understanding and detecting that you have that outrigger out. So if your outrigger, if you've been set up for a couple of days or whatever, and your outriggers are already out like mine are, don't select it and highlight it, just press okay. If you don't, if you try and press delete and then have the yellow highlight thing over this, it's going to show a red X on your LMI and it's just, you know, I don't think it's going to mess anything up, but it's this, it makes the system freak out. So basically, if your outriggers are already out and you see that white symbol over the outrigger, just press OK. I am not using this winch. I'm using the rear winch, so I'm going to put that on. Uh, I've got the jib stowed. I'm going to highlight that. I've got one part of line. Click. And then it's going to give you an overall view of it all. You can go back and change the parts of line if you need or change which winch. Or you can press delete and start the whole thing over again if you need to. And then you press OK. And now it's going to show you uh, all your shit. Just a couple. This, this is a couple bonus uh, tips. Some free chicken. So it's showing right now that I've got 2.1, uh, uh, 2.1 thousand pounds on the, on the, on the, on the, but that's not right. All I have, literally the only thing I have up there is the ball. I don't even have the block hooked up. I've got a little bit of rigging still on my hook from yesterday, but nothing close to that. The mechanic told me that it's showing that uh, because of the way the system is, if you want a more accurate representation of what's going on uh, do your boom so right now I'm giving it some throttle and I'm gonna push the boom forward all right let's see boom forward now so now you see as I'm pushing the boom forward you can see my radius increasing and my boom angle decreasing that it goes down and I find that it's it's. I find that when I have a little, only a little bit of my boom out, that it's still inaccurate. Like it was, it got down to like what 1.4, 1.5 there. Obviously, I still don't have that much. I find that it's more accurate when I have a lot of uh, when I have a lot of my boom scoped out. Why it's designed like that, I, I do not know. I've I've been on even other Grove cranes like a Grove 530 E-2, which is a newer model with a dual screen setup and that was a lot more accurate to within about 100 pounds why this is like this 3,000 pounds i got nothing that makes no fucking sense to me but whatever but you'll notice you might say well how am i supposed to how am i supposed to um you know if i want to get an accurate you know if they, if they need to know how much something weighs and i can't boom up or down all you do is press tear you press tear then it's going to blink and it's going to show you what you're lifting right here in the moment uh it will go away if you change the radius. 
So I can I can uh, I can hoist up and lower the load all day, and it's still gonna be blinking and show it you know show my teared weight. But as soon as I boom down, I'm gonna boom down now. As soon as you start changing the radius by more than a certain amount of feet, then now you see you see how it went back. And now it's back to what it was showing before because I changed the radius. So that's just more free chicken. Um, and that's gonna be it, I suppose. One more thing. It's got this old school style uh, for for uh, setting your outriggers and your and your in your um and all your shit. So if you need to extend something, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get a look at it. You know, you press this, press and hold this, the engine's gonna rev up some. And then if you need to scope out your front and left and right outriggers, you you, you use these two. If you need to scope out, if you need to lift up the outriggers, you press extend, and then you know, and then you can change the outrigger jack. Same thing. If I need to retract them, you press this, and the same thing. So, pretty self-explanatory once you kind of get to look at it. But you can rev it up if you want while you're doing that. You can give it gas while you're doing that. Uh, but it, the engine does automatically rev up on its own. So that's it. Uh, thank y'all. I guess I don't really give. Why am I thinking y'all? Y'all should be thanking me, okay? But anyway, this is really more so for me in case I run one of these in the future and I forget how to how to set it up. So that's it.